hello everyone yeah we are back again uh, we have a nice job here on our table this is HP laptop and uh, it's a very nice laptop it's HP as you can see and um, this laptop refuse to turn on but you put your charger it shows the charge indicator light on but when you press your power button refuse to turn on this is pavilion dv6 it's a, it's a nice laptop it's a good one so can we fix it i don't know I guess you don't know, but what can we see? Let's work together. So, now you can see the indicator light. The charging port indicator light shows that there is a laptop is charging. And this is a switch. I've pressed it. Refuse to turn on. to turn on and um, this place is this you see you, you see two dots there refuse to turn on press it several times now no indicator light shows here that the laptop is has been turned on that means to show that this laptop has an issue uh do you see these two dots here when this laptop turn on uh it we indicates there uh, like as it as you can see it's indicating there so let's put it again you can see so if the laptop turn on it will indicate there so let's see let's try and fix it let's remove the battery and try once more time now the charger is in the indicator light is on Perhaps it might be the battery shutting the laptop down, so that is why I remove it. So let's try again. It's refused to turn on. Let's just lose and check what is wrong, whether we can fix it. So let's work together. Always remember to follow the process. When losing a laptop, the first thing you have to do is to take off the battery. Always be careful when working on the laptop. Because if you refuse to take off the battery from the laptop, there is always small 3.3 .3 volts that is always present all over the laptop. Always small 3.3 .3 volts that is always present present in the laptop i thought about this in our schematic class so you go if you want to understand what i'm saying if you're a beginner go down you know in my previous video there's a video there schematic i thought about this perhaps in future i'm going to uh teach about this if we have such job i will use that same opportunity to teach about it so let's take off this keyboard. Let's get this keyboard out. We uh, have just this screw by the other side. This screw is still holding it. You know, when working on the system, you just always be careful that uh, all the screws. Uh, out. 
So first of all, you know what? Um, let me check whether this um, flex, this switch, ribbon cable or flex are well connected. Put it again. Connect it. Make sure it's well connected. Let me put my charger back and see whether the laptop will switch on. No way. It did not come on. No way. No way. So let's get it out. I'm taking out the old screws now to make sure we get the board out. Then let's make some reading to know what is wrong with the laptop. Because since there is a um, charging indicator light, shows that shows that um, the board is not shut. There is no dying MOSFET because there is a um, continuity in the motherboard. That means to say. There is a free flow and all the um, the current are, uh, sorry, the voltage are complete. So what makes it not to turn on? That is what I'm looking at. Do you know? I guess you don't. So... Let's work it out together to know what is the problem. Always remember to subscribe to our channel, like our video, drop your comment, share our video. Top is hard, so get out the screen connector, the speaker, the USB port. Always be careful when working on the motherboard. Um, that is the network card. I just check to know whether there's a screw holding the motherboard. The charging port. So the motherboard is hard now. Let's let's see what do you think we'll do now? Because the charging port indicator lights always on. That means to see the laptop is charging the battery, but when you switch it on, it refuses to switch on. what do you think we will do next so let's get the charging port out from the laptop so i can fix it and um, plug our charger to it then we'll make some reading 
so that we'll know what is wrong with the laptop. Yeah. My multimeter. Grand. Grand. And we have 19.6. Our carbon resistor diode. Ninety point six. So, of course, I know we have this voltage on the motherboard, but I just want to check what is making the board not to switch on. Uh, we have our main power present on the motherboard. So, what are we going to do next? So, let um, I just want to check for uh, my 3.3. Check for my 3.3. Then uh, all these uh, supplies. You know. Okay. 19 volts is present inside here. 19.6 so in this case what comes into your mind what comes into your mind yeah we have in this power supply we have um uh 19 point on the other side this ocean of sweat so what comes into your mind? You just want to check uh, the votes to know whether they are present. Now we have our 3.3 in the in the switch area. That means to say this old things, this old um, voltage are completed in the on the motherboard. So what is the problem that makes this motherboard not to switch on? That is what we are looking for now. These are the switch, switch ports. Try to bridge it because the whole voltage is completed. That means to see our switch is the problem. Our switch is the problem. So I'm going to look for another switch. to to try it because i know the switch is a problem because i have all the voltage on this motherboard are completed none of the voltage were lost so is the switch let's try this is another switch oh okay let's see oh you see is power on and uh, look at the processor fan is spinning you see there is a switch a switch is the problem a switch is the problem so what lesson did you learn in this case a switch <laughs> a switch is the problem of this laptop the switch is a problem so let's get it done this job is solved the problem of this job is solved so you know this job is um kind of uh Although I thought this job would take more time, but thank God we'll be able to resolve it within a short time. So, uh, never knew it was going to be an easy one because most time when you have um, 
uh, voltage going to the motherboard and it refused to turn on. Most cases, those job turns to be a difficult one. In most cases, yeah. so I never knew this job is going to be easy, going to be as easy as this. Well, thank God this video is, is, a, is a nice one and short one. So let's connect everything back. Always remember to subscribe to our channel, like our video, share our video, drop a comment. I will be happy to, you know, reply your comments. Just follow the process. All you have to do is just to follow the process. The screen connector, which is screen rainbow cable, connecting it back. The top is the top crackers, the top case facing it back. This is a nice video. Does it uh, uh it, it is laptop job took uh less time than I expected. Wow. But it's good so the problem of this laptop is our switch so i just replaced the switch so let's try it one more time to see and to know whether the laptop is working perfectly after changing the switch let's see Let's see, let's see, let's see whether it's working very well. This ribbon keyboard is flex I'm putting here is for the mouse pad. The charger. Charger is being plugged now. You see the charging light is on. And let's test it. Oh, you see, turn off, turn on again, and you can see. And this is a light I'm trying to show you. All this why this first light is on, and the laptop display. Wow, so this our job is solved. the system not found because the hard drive is not there so now we see our laptop is on so let's just complete the job and you know test it one more time putting the keyboard back always remember to be careful when connecting things so that you don't damage any of this uh, ribbon cable. Always remember. Always remember to share our video. Subscribe. Turn on your notification whenever you subscribe to our channel. So that you can be able to get more of our video. Whenever we, we have a new one. In our channel. So that you will be notified. Scroll. Putting back our hard disk drive. Plug in the hard disk drive connector. 
into the connect into the HDD connector port. All I have to do is to follow the process. That's all the wireless cable connecting it to the wireless card. Yeah, those beginner I will do um I will do this um job or other time I will do schematic job or oh, that I will take my time to do that some other time so that those of us who don't understand how uh the procedure to follow on working on a motherboard on troubleshooting motherboard Okay, so that you guys can know how to troubleshoot motherboard. Uh, because there are procedure you follow to identify which component is this, which component is that. I will do that video sometime soon. Very soon I will do that video. So always remember to subscribe to our channel, like our videos. Share our video, turn on your notifications so that whenever we whenever we upload a new video you can receive it this is a battery so let's test this laptop one more time yeah let's test this laptop one more time and see whether it work perfectly is our charging indicator light as you can see it's charging and uh, you see the power led and the laptop is booting you see so and this is a uh former uh, switch that change and here it is this led lights Thank you for watching. See you other time.